Hello there. This is going to be a guide to installing a Scott Euler e-system onto a 2018 KTM Adventure Super Adventure S. For this you're going to need a, a bike, that's always very helpful. You're also going to need a couple of bits and pieces. I recommend if you're going to be doing lots of touring then uh, you go and get a traveler expansion bag and this gives you lots of uh, capacity when you're especially if you're uh, if you're doing lots of touring they reckon Kate uh, Scott Euler uh, reckon that you'll probably get somewhere in the region of about four uh, four thousand kilometers uh, between fill ups that's approximately two and a half to three thousand miles that's uh, uh, gonna be enough for uh, for most long long distance trips uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. And the second part is you're going to need a Scott Euler E-System. Um, the E-System is the top of the range uh, solution from Scott Euler. Our, um, this actually uh, is battery fed system as opposed to the V-based system. Our, uh, opening up the box, you're going to get a display, a nice display there, which is gonna be mounted on the handlebars. And at the inside of that, you're going to get all the components you're going to need, including a nice bottle of Scott oil there, there to actually complete the, the, the job. To complete this installation, I'm going to be following uh, the instructions that you can find on Scott Euler's website for installing the e-system for a 2016 and upwards uh, KTM uh, Super Adventure S. Uh, um, uh, the instructions are a little bit generic, are, um, printed across four pages here. Are, um, they show you where to mount everything. But what we're going to try and do on this video is actually go into further details about what you need to take off to be able to run a lot of the cables. If you can imagine that there is a uh, that you've got an electrical feed going up to the display at the top there shown on that particular diagram which connects into the battery and there's also a feed to the uh, RMV the remote measuring device that's that uh, device just there uh, um, and, uh, um, and then we've got to run the the pipe work uh, uh, down from the RMV uh, um, towards the rear sprocket uh, um, it's always slightly suck it and see with uh, with these installations uh, um, but actually with the adventure uh, you will find that um, this is a really really good modification the big v-twin 1290 engines are uh, very very talky and they are very harsh on their chain uh, i used to own a super duke and that again uh, definitely are, um, it gave far better performance when it when it had a chain oiler at the end there. That last image there shows not only, not actually the, uh, the these this Scorpion dual injector. We haven't got one of those today. However, I'm going to uh, see if I can pick one of those up another day, and I may release another video on that one. But that actually just shows the single sided injector. The principle being that a measured amount of oil, uh, approximately uh, two to three drops every minute, um, get delivered onto the rear sprocket. Uh, um, and for and that will then keep the oil or the chain uh, well and truly oiled in a nice way. Now this is the current state of the of the chain as it stands. It's actually in pretty good nick. Our, um, the previous owners our, um, have just literally used uh, dry spray on lubricant, and that's actually been pretty okay. And I've used that up to this point. However, uh, what we're going to do all of this surface. Our uh, detritus you can see on the top of the chain there will all disappear when the chain oiler gets uh, gets started and installed. So let's crack on.